we just got back from Collision Conference last week, so we've been working on this. Uh, it's myself, my wife is a co-founder, a uh, good friend Tobias, he has a master's in machine learning, we've been working together for years, and I'm not sure if Jerry's here yet, um, but he's, uh, we've also been working together for years. So this has been many years in making, and what we're trying to do is create a new type of CRM for the BDC business, uh, specifically right now e-commerce, that's just a, sort of something we really focus on. And uh, where, where the e-commerce business can just become more autonomous, sort of, uh, you know, just respond to customers in really personal ways based on what they're doing. And, uh, you know, can just be more intelligent about uh, learning about the customers and little pieces of information like an email address or a phone number. And we have a, a microservice called Responder Brain that can just sort of figure a lot of things out. And that's one of the things I'm going to try to demo for you today. So it looks like we, uh, we're, we're actually getting ready to close one million dollars seeing around with RGA Ventures. So they have a, uh, an accelerator in San Francisco called Connect Commerce. And uh, we met them out of collision. And uh, it's really a fun. And they also follow on that. We're talking to them. And, uh, and then for our Series A line, we already have a Salesforce Ventures as a uh, you know, expressed interest in uh, and participating in that as a uh, Comcast Ventures. And so it's been, uh, it's been a crazy week. So, but, so the idea is, you know, like, like you know, there, there really is no such thing as a BBC CRM. Salesforce dominates the BBC CRM market. But there really is not like a, 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 a CRM that learns machine learning and analytics and search engine technology and all this kind of stuff where, you know, a, a business can set up an account and, you know, install a plug-in and put a little snippet of code on their site. And from that point on, you know, as people come to the site, they're tracking all the actions. If they're searching, you can send the search results. You know, as they're looking at things, you can make more and more personalized recommendations. You know, and um, so that's kind of what it is. So, and just to give you a little kind of a little preview of the software, you know, you get some basic analytics, uh, like visualizations, kind of a type of dashboard. This thing's a little too big here. Um, okay, it's going off the side of the page there because it's here. But, um, so, you know, long story short, it's just that we just focused on, I don't know if anybody here has done marketing automation, but I mean, it's, uh, it's very difficult to do, especially for bigger businesses. You need to have to call tools together, like analytics, you know, like core metrics are on your feet and stuff over the exact target. You know, it's just really hard to do. So, uh, we, we just, like, we have obsessed with trying to create a really simple um, system. It's a CRM that has analytics and automation and all this stuff kind of built in. And so I just want to demo something for you, if it works. This is our demo app. And I have this man's card. He's here next. So we're going to try to figure out who he is. Okay. This, this looks a lot better on, on a regular trip. So, you know, this would be your typical exit box that, that somebody kind of gets whenever they land on site. Email at glossycomputing.com. Okay. So we have this email there. <coughs> Only demo fail. <laughs> this normally loads are pretty fast. Okay, there we go. We got him. Let's take a look and see if we know his name, any other thing else, tags. Ah, we didn't get much. Okay, so. Do I get this? So give me one sec, we're going to try a little more. No, it's, it's here this. I mean, we definitely got the email address, and that's always good. So let me try Philip. He actually uh, sort of introduced me to these, these guys here, and we uh, <coughs> hopefully we'll hit. And if not, then we'll be mine. And I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that one will work. But I'm just trying to show you basically like by simply capturing an email address or a phone number, you can discover all kinds of stuff. You know, uh, and, and then from that point on, there's a whole lot of stuff that this can do. I mean, it's only five minutes to demo. But uh, just trying to show you how you can capture a lot of details about somebody directly in your CRM. Okay, last one. Sorry about this. So let's just use one. I just want to show you what the profile page looks like. So I, think I imagine that the corporate email addresses are not yeah. as useful, right? Yeah, probably not. Yeah, don't shout Well, you gotta look them up. So, okay. All right. This wrong one. So yeah, but and I don't need to run all the time. Uh, the long story short, again, this does all kinds of stuff. I mean, you know, we can we uh, you know, if someone is, is it comes and searches for products, you can send search results if they look at products. Oh, actually, you know, I'm clicking on the wrong link. Sorry about that. So I can actually go to these guys. So we need to click into the profile page. So, 
Um, I'm not sure if it's a connection or what's going on here. Okay, so yes, yeah, just from capturing that email address, we got some tags and all this stuff to come from combination of different places. Um, you know, we also got some social profile uh, sort of links here, so we can, you know, we can put right out and post and uh, kind of take a look at who they are. You know, it'll figure out what the last location was, and it's kind of fuzzy. Um, and just other things, it was on mail, which is good. And, uh, <laughs> All right, let's open up to questions here. Thank you so much. So, yeah. Um, I'll ask the first question if you don't mind. So, um, B2C CRM makes sense. Like, uh, obviously, Salesforce is primarily targeting the B2B market. Um, what are some existing customers that you guys already have or are targeting? And um, what, like, what verticals in e commerce is this particularly useful for in the beginning? So when we first launched it, we were focused mostly on the SMB market. That's what we've had most of the time here. We went to, we went to RCE in 2014 to kind of test enterprise customers and bigger ones to see if they'd be interested in something like that. And that's about the same time we started working with bigger product catalogs and higher sort of uh, amounts of traffic and start applying some of the machine learning stuff uh, for recommend, basically similarity, complementary purchase and recommendation, and that kind of recommendation we do. So Lidl, Lidl which is our biggest grocery uh, retailer in um, Europe, uh, we met them at, at the collision conference and we just started working with them. But I mean, most of the bigger clients that we're working with, again, will come to the RGA, they're a big advertising uh, firm in New York, and they have Nike, Verizon, and I don't know who all this, Walmart, but that's the whole purpose of us going to that accelerator is to start kind of testing some of this against bigger, bigger product catalogs and, and you know, just higher uh, traffic websites. Do you have some kind of built-in integration into standard to CRM systems like Salesforce? No, because we're trying to be a CRM, and, and Salesforce is a B2B CRM, so they really wouldn't even, I mean, it's just, we kind of integrate with the wrong thing. You know, I mean, uh, Salesforce is used for, you know, low traffic websites where every lead is really valuable, and you kind of nurture it through a pipeline, that kind of thing. Here you're dealing with really huge amounts of traffic. Each sale might be 10 to 20 bucks. So, you know, you don't want to put a salesperson on it, you know, you want a uh, machine to sort of automatically respond with a personalized email. So, if you can look at two or three things, we can say, here's what you look at, here's some other stuff somewhere there. You know, so that's the kind of stuff that this does. Well, I'm just curious because there's, you know, most of these spaces, I don't know the competition in that space, but isn't there some way you can leverage products that are already out there right now? We're, we're, we're leveraging all our stuff. I mean, again, this, this, you know, we're not being ESP. This is not just email. I mean, this is cross channel, so you can do, you know, Facebook notifications, Twitter, you know, very much like a Twitter followers, ring a phone and call them through direct and So it's cross channel. And we're, instead of like, building all this stuff, we like, I mean, that's why Twilio Fund is a lot of the Boston City investors because we're using Twilio for SMS and that's like sending, you know, pictures and videos to phones and things like that. So it's, uh, it's, it's definitely different from anything out there. And Salesforce is, uh, they, they pretty much acknowledge that, that, that they didn't have enough. Do you have a question over there? Awesome. Okay. Um, you more stuff based on what the person looked at. Have you been able to quantify what is the additional value that you can bring from that customer? What is the additional value? What is the additional value? Additional value that you can bring from the customer. So just to repeat the question, it's for your target customers, have you been able to quantify the additional value you bring? I mean, I think that's a question that anybody would stop on, whether you're Apple or anybody. I mean, you know, I could give you a dollar amount of money for how much value I bring if me and you do business together. I mean, all I can say is that you're going to capture a lot more information about your customers and help you know who they are. It's definitely going to increase your revenue, especially if you're an e-commerce retailer. I mean, that's, uh, what, 70% of all carts are abandoned. So if you had some more creative ways of remarketing to even to your abandoners and your searchers, you'd see some additional sales. So, but it's, uh, you know, I wouldn't be able to quantify right now. I mean, it depends on the size of the company and all that stuff. Right. Time for one last question. Is that one? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was just curious if you guys said anything about where you get the other information about the customer and how do you validate that that is indeed that person, for example, with John Smith? Well, you know, we uh, we have several different ways that we do it. I mean, that's what this little thing we created is a microservice, you know, technical speak called responder brain ties into a bunch of different APIs. And so we get, you know, we, we primarily get a lot of the data from other companies that this is their core business building these databases. So we just decided we didn't want to be like a data sort of, you know, multi-layer. We wanted to, to plug in some really good, solid businesses that actually provide data. So this is just part of the company, product metadata and all kinds of other stuff. Those come from multiple APIs. All right. Thank you very much, responder.